Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing a major problem that is going on right now within the, the Vampire Diaries Universe community or games. Um, discussing the issues and the problems and how to get it fixed. Uh, this main step or main uh, announcement, this is not hate toward any game at all. I'm just as a player who enjoys playing those games that is worried um, and would love to give out suggestions to the owners and developers to maybe make it better for other players. If you agree with me, you can tell me in the comments. If you don't agree, you can also tell me in the comments politely. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get into it. So, the video games right now are going backwards really, really bad. Um, the player counts are going down to 20, to 15, to 10, which is like extremely bad for when it was before, like thousands and thousands of players. And I'm here to discuss some issues that like causing this problem and how to get it um, fixed. So the first one is that games not being beginner friendly. The Vampire Diaries Universe games are definitely not beginner friendly. If you join the game, you don't have any game pass, any coin, anything. Uh, you only have three characters in front of you and those three characters um, cannot guarantee you a kill at all which makes any beginner that would like to play this game immediately quit right afterwards or if they don't have money um they would quit also but if they have money then well we will go to discuss the second um issue which is related to money so the second thing is all main characters called strawbox you have dahlia freya inadu bonnie um, all, all those characters cost Robux, which makes it really, really bad for any player that would like to play his favorite, um, uh, you know, character would end up it being Robux and you cannot do anything about it. Uh, you'd have to pay hundreds and thousands of Robux to get characters that you want to play, which is a really bad thing. I would love if they added like some characters would be robux but the other characters would also be coins or free like it's okay to add let's say um harvest divina it's okay to add her coins you don't have to make a game pass for harvest divina you're gonna tell me hey but she there is a divina game pa there is a divina coin character and the vampire origins okay but that divina coin character is really bad to the point that she can get snapped or killed so easily which is why i'm telling you like instead of this harvest divina being a game pass character why not make it coins instead of let's say emily being a, a robux character why not make her free you know what i mean so you make characters that are really important to the show or the only character that loved by everyone and you gather them all and put them as robux any character that is not loved by all people or any character that is, doesn't have much attention on the show by all people you put her on sideways like either coins or free will make her very weak so the person would not even you know want to play as that which this is a very too big major problems that happen with the game um game not being beginner friendly and game on all characters um cost robux so i hope they can consider this in the future um especially like the new games and stuff so yeah three problem or the third problem that we have is lack of new content the major problem or the bad thing that the Vampire Diaries Universe owners do, except for TVL2, so what they do is that they bring out all the content that they have at one time or like at once and then end up with no content for like months and months and months because they don't have any new content to provide. Like you brought every single character that people want in the game at once, let's say within, I don't know, the release. Let's take TVO as an example. On release, TVO had Valerie, Nora, Dahlia, Freya, Inadu. They, ha they had like almost everything except for Emily. Which, um, except for Emily, and Ken, and Ben, which has been added uh, after the revamp. And after they added Ben, Ken, and... Uh, not Ben, I mean, uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. Uh, so, and Ken, and they added... Um, 
the other one, Emily, they left with no content. Like, they don't have any character to add. What are they going to do? Add Vincent? After you add Vincent, what updates are you going to add? So this is a major problem that uh, game owners are doing. They're bringing everything out for the sake of like Robux and getting money as fast as you can. But they forget about the long-term um, situation. Like you are thinking of a long-term situation. What TVL2 did, which is pretty smart, is that they brought um, a few characters out. Like uh, Doug Josie, Hope, like the main characters out. And they left like Dahlia, Inadu, every every other characters for a new future updates, which they have more content to provide and more us players to play. And our brain would actually trick us to be in like a new content, even though we played it on other games. But that's the uh, the thing good about TVL2 is the win is that they're not bringing out all content all at once. Instead, they bring it out like step by step, which makes us us players always happy to see a new thing added to the game and always happy to play it. Um, this is also a major problem that I see on, especially the Vampire Origins and the Prophecy of Witches. They are all bringing all content out to the game and leaving none for the long-term um, future. Next we have is poor optimization. This is a major problem that is happening currently on the Vampire Origins and um, the Prophecy of Witches because that's the only two video games that I play. But what I mean by poor optimization is that either like something bad that affects your experience within the game and something that is left untreated and unlooked for. So, like, let's say by example, with the Prophecy of Witches, we have a problem with the map. Like, not the map exactly, but like the lag, you know? When you have lag, you cannot play the game. Especially for mobile players. There's a lot of people here that play mobile. They cannot play the game and enjoy it. They get kicked every two seconds or every five minutes. I tried um, the games on mobile and it worked really, really good. Until I get kicked out of a sudden with an iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max. Um, this this uh, problem, however, did not happen to me with the Vampire Legacies 2, but it happened to me with both the Prophecy of Witches and the Vampire Origins. Um, I wish, I wish with all my heart that they look into this and try to find a solution into making the game much more friendly for poor devices like um, mobile and stuff like that. Also, always on a daily basis treating bugs and glitches instead of left leaving them, um, you know, unnoticed or leaving them untreated. The, the character or the player that keeps being bugged over and over and over and over again, eventually will be like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm leaving. And, you know, this is what leads to people leaving every single day. And the player base or the player active active players go down by the hundreds, which is really bad. So this issue, I hope they look into it and I hope they fix it. Um, and I hope they take my advice for it. So, yeah. Five is, or the fifth, uh, the fifth major issue that we have is the overwhelming content. Now you're gonna say, cheese, you just said lack of new content. What do you mean overwhelming content? And let me tell you what I mean by overwhelming content. Games like, um, let's take the, the Prophecy of Witches as an example. The Prophecy of Witches has brought a lot of abilities and a lot of stuff for characters that is just way too overwhelming. Like, um... When it comes to immortality in the Prophecy of Witches, almost everyone is immortal. Why would I play a game that is PvP and I'm sure that I will not, I will not die? Or it is almost impossible for someone to kill me. That is like really bad. That is really bad to add to the game. I know that you want to add more abilities and to make it accurate to the shop. But at the end of the day, this is a game and a game needs to be balanced. No, like the show. The writers of the show could just kill off a character and make a character OP like they did with the Scarlet Witch or they did with that, you know? But a game, your job as an owner or developer is to make the game more fun for everyone around. Not just making every single character or almost everyone is immortal and those who are not immortal will basically die. 
and not have fun to play by those who are not scared of dying because they know they won't die you know so for me i think immortality needs to be removed entirely from the game every single game pass that has immortality needs to stop having immortality except for originals obviously or tribrid um only the witches that practice true immortality in the show shall have it like dahlia let's say dahlia can only link to freya make it like this let's not make dahlia link into every single original of the game or every no let's make dahlia only link to freya because we see most of the time dahlia is immortal because she's linked to freya you get what i mean um inadu let's not give her mortality because inadu actually was vulnerable in her witch body and she could get killed in her witch body she was only immortal in her spirit body so let's to tweak it and to make it good let's make it that every time inadu dies she has to possess to be to possess a lebanair uh creature could be a witch even Haley, anyway and then after they she possesses a lebanair she could cast a spell to come back to life uh, as her own body and that only works three times if she dies for the fourth time she dies for good that's what i mean by this like make it good make it like it's a pvp you know everyone can die you know what i mean so even with dahlia linking to freya make it that they have a loophole that is not impossible to do but it's also like not very easy to do that could break the link and make them um or random render them um, mortal that's what i mean by overwhelming content we don't want any immortality any other character that is in the game bonnie freya um inadu no just remove immortality from them even harvest davina any any of those that has immortality in the game right now remove it we don't want immortality make them mortal because that's what pvp is all about you have to be scared and have skills in order to stay alive not just you know take over and be like oh it's okay i'm immortal i don't really care no that should be con there should be consequences on you not fighting back the second piece of overwhelming content that i want to talk about is the major major amount of area spells like spells that affect everyone let's say like otem let's say like just talk josie in the vampire origins she has otem that affects everyone she has japanese burst spell that affects everyone she has fiantes that affects everyone you know what i mean so there is a lot a lot of spells that affect everyone instead of just one person at a time i would also consider reducing those um abilities uh, to make less chaos and less problems in the game uh that would be actually amazing so the overwhelming content for me i think it's the most and the biggest uh problem that these games has right now and the worst of these overwhelming content is immortalities no thanks please remove them every single game pass which um uh, a witch werewolf all should be mortal allowed to die as for you're gonna tell me what about tribrid she's gonna be op no make it that the tribrid is able to die by the rate of obviously that can be bought but instead of robux make it coins you're gonna say wait so i paid 2000 robux for a character that dies from coins yes and let me tell you what's gonna happen you're gonna keep protection on hope so that the person that spent his coins to kill hope will have to do hard work to get her like low to 30 percent before he could stake her you know what i mean so i'm not making hope and killable but at the same time i'm making it fun for the other person to steal her and making it um g like balanced to the person that is playing hope to protect himself from getting stolen you know what i mean so this is one of the overwhelming content that i'm talking about and i hope they address this issue especially the prophecy of which is the one of the biggest thing that makes me not want to play the game is that every single character is immortal there is no fun there and yeah i hope they change that six and the l before last major problem that we have is no good free characters there is no free characters that are actually playable 
and I'm also talking about the prophecy of witches and the vampire origins. Why you're gonna say why are you not talking about the TVL? Um, TVL two. If you play the game, you're gonna see most people play as their customs. You know why? Because custom characters there and free characters there are able to literally kill a game pass character. They can literally kill Dark Jossi so easily, and they can also kill Hope so easily. Except if she was a tribrid. Well, they can stake her, but you have to pay for that. So, well, why I'm not talking about the Vampire Legacy 2 is because the Vampire Legacy 2 is the most balanced game out of those three. And I'm addressing uh, specifically the Prophecy of Witches and the Vampire Origins. Hoping, hoping they don't take my message disrespectfully. They take it as a person who just wants them to do good, who just wants their game to be successful, who just wants their game to be like, you know, everyone plays it. So hopefully you just take my uh, advices as good thing, except of a bad thing. So no good free characters. I don't know what to say, but because every free character, let's say except for Liv. I think Liv is the only free character in the Vampire Origins that can kill uh, other people. So I think they should take the advices, the thing that they added with Liv, to add it with other free characters and each character should have uh, um, custom spells or custom abilities that would make her or make them able to kill and get coins and eventually upgrade their account okay so take a hard look on the free characters give them justice make the people that want to play um, even if you make all main characters cost Robux, which like I said at the beginning of the video, makes the game really not beginner friendly, at least you can fix it by making good free characters. Let's take New Journey as an example. So New Journey um, has a free character called Vision and other free characters. So Vision is a character that is able to kill the Scarlet Witch, which is the most powerful character in the game. Why? Because Vision has abilities that are able to stand a fight, even though on a low process, or like it's a slow process, or I have like, no, it has like, it ha the free character has like moderate chance of winning, but it still has a chance to win and get the coins and actually upgrade his account to buy in, let's say Agatha or Fre or I mean, or uh, Wanda or whatever, you know? So make good free characters that are able to kill Game Pass characters, but don't make it that they can combo so easily and kill them in two seconds. That would be stupid, obviously, but they have to have some sort of um, skill, you know, in order to kill this um, coin or kill this Game Pass character to get coins to upgrade their own account. So the the first problem and the second and the sixth problem all are connected and if one of them is fixed, all of them is fixed. So basically, this is really, really good and I hope they take my advice on this one, especially this one. And the last um, content or the last problem that we have, I mean, the last problem that we have is lack of updates and events. Obviously, I don't know what to say, but like, um, I'm aware of that the Vampire Origins owners are on a break. Uh, that's why we couldn't get a Halloween event. But for the Prophecy of Witches, the Halloween event they gave us is absolutely not good like it wasn't fun at all it was just a new character and then a map decoration i wouldn't want to play it on a map decoration at all because like it's just a look you know i want new stuff to do let's take the vampire legacies 2 for example and their halloween update they gave you quests like each quest you have to finish a specific thing and then get the the re the award you know what I mean? So there was some interaction happening within the game, which made players really excited and happy with the event. They got awarded like either um, coins they would buy their favorite skin or they got awarded uh, stuff in the game like the broomstick you can fly, which is the first thing that has ever been added to any TV video game. So yeah, that's what I mean by this.
As for events, I know that the games are usually just like, oh, Halloween and Christmas. No. I have a lot of events that um, can be added beside Halloween and Christmas. Like, we don't want two events after each other and then a whole year of nothingness. You know what I mean? So, maybe add a double XP event for like seven days. If you kill a character, instead of getting, like, what you get, like, 100 coins, you get, I don't know, 500 coins, uh, which will go well with adding um, more coin characters to the game. So people will actually play those events to grind a specific amount of coins to buy that coin character that you added to the game. You know what I mean? So add an event that makes it, like, let's say Black Friday. Add a Black Friday event. All Robux characters are now has a discount for like, I don't know, two days. You know what I mean? Add event where like, there's a quest that if you do it, you get this um, outfit. You know what I mean? Or you get this character. Like, it could be like a limited character to that event for seven days. People will be excited to play that event. You have no idea how many people are actually going to play to grind and to get for those events these seven major issues that i have talked about on this video are literally the solution to make the vampire du the vampire diaries universe games great again i remember in 2021 when people were playing the games with thousands and thousands of players and currently people are able to play the games with thousands and thousands of players but the problem that prevents them from their games having thousands and thousands of players is because of these problems that I agreed here. If you have any other um, issue that you want to discuss, tell me in the comments. Tell me if those issues that I talked about in this video are valid or not. I think they are absolutely amazing and they should be treated and taken under consideration. This is video also um, not just directed to TV or TV or the property, which is directed to every single game that is in development, every single video game that is in development, even the Vampire Chronicles, I think that's the name, even TVL2, um, they should take this under consideration, and yeah, that's all I had to say, I had to go up and speak, because like, my heart really aches for these TV games, even me, for the lack of content that they have, I, even me, as you guys noticed, I don't play those games anymore. You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't see anything new to play. So, that's why these games are having 20, 15. I even found, like, a game, I'm not going to say the name, that has, like, 7 players. I was going to go record, but then I saw 7 players, and I was like, how am I supposed to record on this? You know what I mean? So, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video as much as you can so that we can, you know, get our voice heard and actually get those stuff on our favorite games. Could be The Prophecy or TVO or even TVL or the TVC. Any upcoming The Vampire Diaries Universe games, I hope and I beg you, please uh, consider this stuff before making your game so that you can actually, you know, have a big chance of succeeding so yeah don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video bye